Good morning, excited to learn new things. So here, uh, being host, we are very happy to see you all. And I hope your journey was good. Many have traveled from outside Maharashtra as well. Even uh, season at Pune is good. So uh, how many are uh, teaching mathematics or the computational thinking? Everybody? Anyone first time attending city as? And remaining our second time. Oh, great. Many are there first time, so it's good. <laughs> so now I'm sure they will come second time as well. Hello. Hello. Yes. It's good. Okay. So uh, I think crowd is mixed crowd. Many young people and middle age and experienced one. So uh, this is very good blend. And uh, I always feel I'm uh, basically I'll introduce myself. Uh, first of all, I'm volunteer for CTIs. And secondly, I'm heading the Department of Computer Engineering at Pune Institute of Computer Technology, which is an engineering college. And uh, first, I, I, as I'm part of ACM, that is Association of Computing Machinery. So I got involved. Uh, I came to know about CS Patshala. And further, the, I have attended some uh, sessions or maybe workshops they are conducting, Vipul sir and uh, Sonia ma'am. They are very much passionate about uh, all these uh, computational teaching, learning, and also uh, further I thought like I should also jump in this. And how much I can contribute that much I'm trying to do because with all other uh, responsibilities and I'm sure this will happen with all of you because uh, our profession is very noble profession, right? So it is very less for us and more for others. So once the teacher, uh, we are pa passing some information, we're training the teacher for something new which we want to incorporate in the society, then we are sure it will reach out to thousands of people, right? Any teacher uh, in, in the year is in contact with more than 100, 200 students, right? You are interacting with one classes, two classes, three classes like this. So I think uh, Trixa sir is here. So let's welcome, sir. Good morning, sir. So honorable uh, director, I, sir, uh, professor, uh, Sandeep sir and uh, all the teachers, passionate teacher, all uh, CS Parshala volunteers and uh, the uh, professors from IITs and other uh, premier organization. So I welcome, I Dr. Gitanjali Kai welcome you all on behalf of CTIS team. So uh, very good morning to all of you. 
just one quote for my passionate teacher who are always passionate about innovation and that that's why they are here so behtar se behtar ki talash karo mil jaye nadi to sagar ki talash karo टूट जाते हैं शीशे पत्थर की चोट से टूट जाए पत्थर ऐसा शीशा तलाश करो सो अलवेज वी शुड बी पैशनेट अबाउट लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स फाइंडिंग न्यू थिंग्स एज देर आर सो मेनी डेफिनेशंस ऑफ रिसर्च इनोवेशन एंड ऑल सो जस्ट इट इज अ डिस्कवरिंग लाइक इट इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन नेचर एंड यू आर जस्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ इट राइट सो देर आर there might be some other opinions on this but explore 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 more and as i shared before as well it is teaching is more about others and very less about us right this is very noble profession we are reaching, reaching out to young generation of the uh, society so just coming down to cs patshala so this is very great uh, initiative and very well supported by mncs and the premier organizations like icer iits and i have seen there are professors and researchers volunteering for this particular initiative and uh, they are striving hard to reach out to the whole community and specifically the government schools so i see the vipul and sonia they are they always try hard that they should reach to everyone converting the content from the english to other regional languages so that it should be understandable to all the students in the community so uh, i think being a big round of applause for their efforts and uh, like other uh, i have contributed Uh, in conversion of few very few content but everybody from the uh, to whom the sonia and vipul are contacting they always say okay okay how to contribute we will contribute for that even my students i can see teachers and the i just i ask and i understood that many teachers are attending this city as first time so i'm sure they will be part of this uh, permanently so without taking much time now i hand over uh, next session to miss bhagwati thank you gitanjali ma'am a very good morning to everyone present here it is needless to mention that it's a privilege that gg international school a senior secondary school is hosting the workshop and the conference today the 6 ctis conference in icer today and i also thank the entire icer community and the organization for to help us in giving this venue and organizing in the year 2017 gg international school became a partner with cs patshala and this curriculum was integrated in school and with so many years of experience i just would like to say that you know the integration of science maths and computational thinking has taken us beyond what we were doing as a part of the computer syllabus that we were doing in simple words i just want to say that the curriculum that we are following with cs patshala is nothing but developing problem solving uh, skills in the children giving them a problem or they finding a problem and exploring a solution for it like gitanjali ma'am also said it's just about exploring in the schools and this is what we were doing with this i being a part of the sahodaya group of schools sahodaya is a group of cbse schools in pune and this cs patshala curriculum has been implemented by many schools across pune and i would also like to say that the implementation of this curriculum does not mean only computers or only programming it's like a blend of the entire syllabus of the entire learning that the children gain in this school uh, curriculum itself so without taking much of your time i on behalf of ctis conference and as a host for today's and yes tomorrow's conference i welcome each one of you to this conference and i believe that with the wonderful sessions that have been planned in these two days we will be taking a lot with us and our teachers today also who are present here will be taking a lot with them today 
we are honored to have with us the director of icer mr sunil bagwat sir it's an indeed an honor to have this eminent personality whose journey in the field of research science and technology is nothing but only inspiring with over 100 international publications over 80 national conferences presentations and 10 patents to his credit ladies and gentlemen let's put a big round of applause to mr sunil bagwat the director of indian institute of science education and research pune we welcome you sir he's also the professor of chemical engineering at the institute of chemical technology where he was earlier the head of the department of chemical engineering and dean academic programs his area of specialization is interfacial science and artificial neural networks energy exergy engineering he was also awarded the best teacher award in ICT several times and Indian National Science Academy also awarded him in the year 2016 in 2019 the UDCT alumni association distinguished alumnus award was also given to sir and he was also he has also received the Indian Chemical Council KV Mariwala award for chemical ind industry Academia Partnership 2022 and was elected fellow of the Indian National Academy of Engineering in 2023 he's an also an active consultant to many chemical industries thank you sir for being with us today and sparing your valuable time with us with this i request sir to please address the audience very good morning to you all it's a pleasure to welcome works very differently oh. most of us have seen science programs in the country with a 3 year degree followed by a 2 year masters which many of you probably have gone through but here in this institute what we do is that we take 12 standard students and straight 5 years bs and ms integrated program not only that we get them engaged with research right after their first year till final year and the fifth year is a full fledged research project as if it was a mini phd project to add to this what we do is we recognize the independence of students and the fact that today most of the times decisions about the students are no longer taken by students but by their parents and in order to empower the students to take their own decisions our admissions at the first year happen as science students it does not bracket them as chemistry biology physics we of course have physics chemistry mathematics biology we have earth and climate science we have data science we have science education we have humanities and social science but we do not bracket them at the start in the first three semesters they would study all these subjects equally and it is after that in their fourth semester that they start picking electives from various departments as they want and if they accumulate enough number of credits in let's say mathematics then when they graduate with a bs and ms they would be given a bs ms major in mathematics if they decide to keep all subjects together they will get a bs ms science which means is that the student is himself or herself free to take whichever subjects they want as they go from their second year to fourth year and a fifth year research project in fact we also permit and encourage our students if they want to do a research projects abroad but here itself a lot of them will do their research projects and people from other institutes also then come here to do their research projects 
with us for a semester, sometimes a an year and so on. Why I'm mentioning this is that it all begins with what these students come with. And that is substantially in the hands of all of you. You are the people who groom them to do something. One of the messages I would really want all of you to keep in mind is that it is much more difficult to teach at school level than at college and senior levels. So hats off to you, you are doing a much more difficult job. In fact, as we go to higher and higher PhD courses, it is much simpler, a research work that I am doing, I am explaining to the students. But to keep the students who want to probably run away and stay outside the classroom, to keep them in the classroom and teach them, kudos to you. Second, these students when they come to science, many of them are with an impression that since they have picked science, that was the only thing important in life. As a result, many of them get an impression, I'm going to focus on science and I can ignore languages. And that is the biggest problem that we face when the students come here, they are unable to communicate. Now, whether you are going to be a scientist, a chartered accountant, or maybe an airline pilot, whatever you think of, communications are always going to be essential and languages are going to make the foundation. Agreed that chemistry has its own language, mathematics has its own language. But the basic language caters to all these and therefore it should not be ignored at school levels. If all of you being at that level, if you can give that message to the students that communications are going to be essential, please do that on our behalf. That do not ignore languages. Second thing is computers. When I was studying, computer was something to be dreamed of. When I was in my high school, I had never seen a computer, the smallest variety of computer also. Then we came into a college, we started using calculators, then computers. Today we do a lot of research work using computers. But today's kids when they come, they are expected to be familiar with use of computers. Think of few hundred years ago when there was no pen and paper and people were only expected to memorize and remember. And then came paper, printed books, notebooks, and perhaps at that time, there must have been special classes and CTIs like sessions held, how to use that paper for printing and writing. Today, that is our daily bread and butter, right? So almost already use of computers for different things has become like that. Not only that, the kind of computer which was carried in the Apollo mission to the moon, its capability is already surpassed by the smartphone that you carry in your pocket which means the pace of change is going to be very high. And today, in fact, people also think that if artificial intelligence and machine learning is going to take away my jobs, or that's the fear that many people carry. And even there, let me tell you one thing. We have to always make sure that the human brain stays one step ahead of the computer. And when the detectives want to catch the thief and they want to stay one step ahead of the thief, they have to think like the thief first. So right from your childhood, the kids have to be told how to think like a computer will think so that they are always on the top and not the computer. So I think schools like this, programs like this will definitely go a long way in making sure that the human brain is always going to remain an unlimited resource not to be matched by anything else. Wish you a very enjoyable and a learning day and the time ahead. Thanks for calling me here and once again, best wishes.
Thank you, sir, for your valuable words. Uh, I hope we completely agree with sir that communication is an integral part of our school education. So I believe that languages that we study in school are not to be restricted between those textbooks and the boundaries that we have, but they have to go much beyond than the boundaries that we have planned for ourselves with respect to the textbooks that we follow. Sir, our school has been, you know, um, our children have been working with ICER and there are four alumni that I have in my school. Three passed out from ICER and one has got into ICER this year. So the entire, you know, the duration that we have, they come and talk to their 11th and 12th standard children and the kind of learning that they get in ICER is commendable, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, so much. And uh, now I hand over to Mr. Vipul Shah, one of the most active members of CS Pachala and the founder member of CS Pachala. I think with his constant support that we keep on getting at every given point of time, it deserves a big round of applause. Uh, thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pune and CTIS. I saw Chennai people sweating. That has to be something, right? How can Chennai people be sweating in Pune? And well, <laughs> so welcome to the humid weather here. I was told that we should always have uh, talk about CS Patshala. And I think it's, it's something that we should talk about, which that's because that's uh, something to celebrate. Uh, we started this journey in uh, 2000 towards the end of 2015-2016 uh, beginning. And there are two people in this room here who actually conned me into this, uh, Madhavan and Venki here. And I'm thankful to them that they did. Uh, <laughs> that we started this. But we started with the small people with 15 schools. Many of those schools are here today. The ones who were part of the early uh, adopters. And I must say they were really brave. Uh, you know, because this was something new, something uh, different coming their way, and they took the plunge in this, right? And I think they, I think that is what gave us uh, inspiration that we are on the right track. We can do better, and we can continue to work on this in this area. Fifteen grew, grew to fifty, and I think uh, the rest you know. Uh, we have even actually stopped counting the number of students because I think every year more and more schools are adopting. In many cases, we don't even know who's uh, adopting and who's implementing this. Uh, large number of training programs have been held over the years. Uh, and uh, it's, it's been wonderful to see how the community has stepped up. When we started this, our whole idea was to build a community of practice. And I'm happy to see that community of practice come to life through CTIS. Sixth year, and we still see the same amount of interest and enthusiasm from the community. And so the community stepped up, and they now took over the training that was happening and uh, carried it forward. So why did we get into this? I think we felt it was important to look at computer science uh, as a subject differently from com uh, IT that we were teaching in schools. And I think we believe that it was important to lay the foundations for that. Uh, our initial charter was to look at saying, how do we influence policy? How do we train teachers? How do we create draft curriculum and uh, content that can be useful uh, for the teachers to try out in school? I think that was the initial idea when we started this. And I'm, I'm happy to note that we have succeeded to varying degrees in each, each and every one of these. Uh, we were able to uh, provide inputs to NEP, later position papers to the National Focus Group, and fortunately the NCF that came out last year has a similar curriculum uh, for computational thinking. And I think thanks to everyone who contributed uh, towards that. Right? Thank you. <coughs> uh, so that was the curriculum part. Training, I think, I, I, I won't even name the numbers and all. Uh, I think one thing which I must say, I don't know how many of you are, uh, how, how many of your schools have been participating in Babris? Okay. Uh, yes, so I would love for all of others who are not doing it to uh, take a note of it. Get your kids introduced to it. It's for free for all age groups 8 to 18. We have been supporting multiple languages. If your language is not supported, let us know. We can try to support it this year. But I think do provide this opportunity because Babris is 
designed to excite students in computing get them interested and you, i'm sure you'll find like the other teachers have done uh, this to be an enjoyable exercise for them so i think without further ado i will like to hand it over to uh, the organizers and thank you again it's wonderful to see so many familiar faces i mean people who started as i said the journey with us so many of them are in this uh, audience right now thank you uh, again for your support and it's wonderful to see you again thank you Um, all right. Uh, very good morning, everyone. My name is Neil Dhara. I'm from IIT Gandhinagar. And um, along with Geeta, uh, we had the opportunity to be the program committee co-chairs for this edition of CTIS. And at the outset, um, I'd like to thank um, uh, the CTIS steering committee for entrusting us with this very important task of curating this program. It turned out to be a really challenging task this time because thanks to the efforts from um, Sonia and her team, we got, uh, I think, the most number of abstracts that have ever been submitted to CTIS this year. So CTIS is clearly on a growth trajectory. Um, I'd like you to give yourselves a hand for you know this, uh, this amazing growth. So uh, the main conference had 160 submissions. If you count all the submissions that came across all the regional conferences that were held this year, we crossed uh, 250 abstracts. I think Sonia had challenged herself to cross 200. And we crossed that uh, by, um, by a mile, I think. So this was phenomenal. Um, so really exciting, but really hard for the program committee because, as you know, we're still a two-day conference and there's only so many slots. So you'll see that we have more parallel sessions than ever before because we really couldn't say no to so many of the abstracts that were so good. And unfortunately, a lot of good abstracts also had to be left out just because we only have a finite amount of time. So um, if you know anyone or if you are someone who couldn't make it to the main event this year, please come back next time and don't be disheartened. We just really had... Uh, you know, an outpouring of very high quality submissions this time. So 77 abstracts have been selected for submission in the main conference. Uh, most of them were shortlisted uh, from uh, the submissions that came in directly to CTIS. But wherever we saw that there was a lot of interest, a lot of regional interest, um, Sonia actually um, uh, steered uh, this idea of the regional conferences so that everybody got an opportunity to present. So we had, I think, four regional conferences this time. And uh, the regionals had also uh, really outstanding uh, support and outstanding attendance. And the best conference, uh, the best presentations from each of the regionals will also be showcased at the main CTIS event. We have a great mix of presentations, demos, posters, panels, and of course, we have, a, we have a most wonderful invited talk that's coming up today. It's the highlight of today's session. I think all of you know about the program. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank the program committee and the extended set of reviewers for their work in not just reviewing the abstracts, but I think CTS is this unique conference where, at least in my experience, um, I haven't seen this follow-up round of one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you're giving a talk at the conference, you have probably interacted with somebody over a call who has helped you fine-tune the presentation. So um, it's really been such an amazing effort from a very large team working behind the scenes to put together the program. Of course, all the organizers, all our sponsors, we are going to come back and, um, you know, in the closing session, uh, give you an explicit list of everyone who was involved. But at the outset, I just wanted to congratulate everyone who is here and thank everybody who has put in this effort behind the scenes. I wanted to give you a sense of the numbers. I won't get in your way anymore. I'd love to um, hand this over to Venky, who's going to uh, take this over into the first session of the program this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you.